Big news has now arrived on Gunners, you want to know all the details so follow me until the end of the video. But first if you are in love with Arsenal show your love and subscribe to THE channel now and turn on notifications. Here we post daily news and behind the scenes of the biggest club in THE Premier League Arsenal. Thank you. Arsenal poised for another £65 million transfer surprise after three-year strategy silences critics. For the fourth consecutive summer, Arsenal may once again astonish fans with a transfer move that no one sees coming. Typically, the club's transfer dealings are well publicized long before they're finalized. Fans knew about the major summer move for Declan Rice months before it happened, and the same was true for Gabriel Jesus the previous summer. However, sporting director Edu Gasper, who leads the club's market activities, has a knack for surprising fans and generating much-needed debate and discussion with some of his deals. Over the past three years, Arsenal has spent nearly £150 million on players that few predicted. In 2021, while the focus was on the return of William Saliba and the need for midfielders and forwards, Arsenal secured a £50 million deal for Ben White, loaning Saliba to Marseille for the season. Despite initial debates, both decisions are now viewed with much respect. In 2022, just days before the official announcement, Arsenal agreed to a £34 million deal with FC Porto for Fabio Vieira. Unlike Ben White's transfer, Vieira's impact has been limited, largely due to injuries. Recent reports suggest the issues go beyond injuries, and a summer sale hasn't been ruled out. In 2023, Arsenal signed Kai Havertz for £65 million, making him one of the club's highest earners. This move was unexpected, and many initially dismissed it as a potential flop. However, Havertz has established himself as a key forward, contributing to Arsenal's record-breaking 91 Premier League goals. With this track record, it's highly possible that for the fourth season in a row, the Gunners will secure a player that few are even aware the club is considering. The team needs to strengthen its striker position, wide areas, central midfield, and defense, especially at left-back, as well as find a backup goalkeeper. Names currently circulating include Benjamin Sesko, Bruno Gamares, Justin Bigelow, Victor Gyokeris, Nico Williams, Alexander Isak, Joral Hado, and Ferdi Kadioglu. More names are likely to emerge, especially after June 30 when the new profit and sustainability period begins. It's expected that Arsenal will make David Raya's transfer from Brentford permanent, so a potential surprise might revolve around this aspect. Similarly, Aaron Ramsdale staying at the club for another season might be equally unlikely. There's a high chance that this summer will offer fans plenty of excitement, with the ever-present possibility of an unpredictable move. What might not be surprising is that there's no guarantee deals will be concluded early, especially with two summer tournaments in Europe and North America on the horizon. Edu Gasper's secret transfer technique is helping Mikel Arteta build Arsenal's dream team. Edu Gasper has been diligently working to generate funds for Arsenal despite criticism of the club's sales strategy. As the sporting director, Edu has been praised for his efforts in player acquisitions, helping Mikel Arteta build a team that has competed in two consecutive title races. In a recent interview with Estadeo, Edu detailed the rigorous process the club follows to analyze potential signings. You can't sign just for the sake of signing, Edu stated. It has to be a process that takes weeks and weeks. On my desk, I have reports of more than 180 pages on a single player. It's really detailed work. Physical, technical, mental profiles, Premier League experience, adaptability, everything is analyzed. We assess our deficiencies, identify areas for improvement, decide where to invest, and then pursue that new name. We've been discussing our current plan since January. The decision isn't mine or Michael's alone, it's a group decision. Despite the praise for his role in bringing in new talent, Edu has faced significant criticism from some fans regarding the club's sales. Arsenal has let several former players leave for low transfer fees or, in some cases, for free, even agreeing to terminate contracts. However, this trend has notably diminished recently, and Arsenal is poised to make substantial profits from several players this summer. What may have gone unnoticed is the groundwork Edu has laid to ensure steady income from past departures, which is now paying off. Fans have long called for clauses in player contracts to secure additional income. Last summer, Edu and the club raised over £30 million from the sale of Fuller and Balogun and agreed on a 17.5% sell-on clause with Monaco for any future sale. Other deals are also bringing in money despite previous criticism. For instance, the initial £3 million sale of Bernd Leno to Fulham has more than doubled thanks to contract clauses. 
Similarly, Matteo Ganduzzi secured a permanent move from Marseille to Lazio this summer after an obligatory purchase clause was activated in his loan deal. Arsenal is set to receive over £2 million from the 15% sell-on clause included in the transfer to Marseille. Additionally, West Ham's deal to sign Constantinos Mavropanos from Stuttgart brought in over £1 million due to a roughly 10% sell-on clause. Arsenal has sold more players during this period, like Lucas Torreira, Matt Turner, and Pablo Mari, who might also have similar clauses, though these are yet unknown. Regardless, the groundwork is in place to support any future deals. EDU's meticulous approach in both acquisitions and sales, highlighted by strategic clauses and comprehensive evaluations, is helping to sustain Arsenal's financial health and competitive edge. His techniques are quietly but effectively contributing to the club's long-term success and stability. Arsenal Transfer News, the £35 million decision on Aaron Ramsdale's future. Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale faces an uncertain future at the Emirates Stadium after losing his spot to David Raya this season. With Raya's arrival from Brentford, Ramsdale has found himself sidelined, prompting speculation about his next move. As the summer transfer window approaches, Ramsdale may consider exploring new opportunities. Here's what Football.London's writers think about the situation. Jack Flintham. The worst outcome for all parties would be Ramsdale remaining on the bench next season. It's not his fault he's become the second choice. Arteta has every right to strengthen his squad, and Ramsdale was right to stay and fight for his place. However, it would be unforgivable if he stayed somewhere he's not wanted as the first choice. Ramsdale has the quality to be a starting Premier League goalkeeper, and Arsenal could command a decent fee. A lone move to La Liga or the Bundesliga could also be considered, giving him the minutes he deserves and potentially increasing his market value for a future transfer. Tom Coley. Arsenal made the tough decision to bench Ramsdale last season, and it seemed inevitable he wouldn't last. He has served his purpose by helping the team achieve stability and compete for the title while being a playing goalkeeper. His infectious character is great to have around. However, Ramsdale won't get the minutes he deserves at this stage of his career, regardless of what Arteta says. With Jordan Pickford turning 30, Ramsdale has a real shot at becoming England's number one. Arsenal could likely fetch around £30 million for him. Chelsea has been mentioned as a potential suitor, and Newcastle might also be interested given Nick Pope's limitations with his feet. Ramsdale will have options and just needs the courage to pursue them. Amy Wilson. Keeping an unhappy player is never ideal, and this could be the case with Ramsdale if he isn't sold this summer. Arteta's decision to make Raya the first choice was brutal but justified by Raya's performances. Ramsdale did nothing wrong when he was the starter, which puts Arsenal in a dilemma. While the club needs a reliable backup, Ramsdale is too good to be benched. He'll likely seek a move for more regular playtime, and Arsenal should facilitate this while securing a replacement. The Gunners' interest in Feyenoord's Justin Bigelow suggests this plan is in motion. Isaac Johnson. Ramsdale must move on for the sake of his career. Arteta hasn't backed his initial insistence that both he and Raya would rotate, which gives Ramsdale the right to seek an exit. A top-six club move is unlikely, but West Ham could be a viable option, allowing him to stay in London. Alternatively, an overseas move might appeal. Staying to fight for his place is risky, especially since he's not the type to enjoy benchwarming. Arteta sticking with Raya despite early errors suggests Ramsdale is better off elsewhere. At 26, he's in his prime and deserves to play. Tom Canton. The sale of Ramsdale seems inevitable. He wants it, the club is open to it, and other clubs will be interested. A move might lower his Premier League status, but with top-half clubs likely settled on their goalkeepers, Newcastle and Chelsea remain potential destinations. Ramsdale's market value, following his new contract, should be higher than the £24 million Arsenal initially paid. Some fans feel for Ramsdale and criticise Arsenal's handling of him. Although certain aspects could have been managed better, such as Champions League group stage games, the club's ruthless improvement strategy by signing a better goalkeeper, Raya, stands. Isaac Selikan. It's highly unlikely Ramsdale will reclaim the number one spot at Arsenal. With Raya set to stay, Ramsdale must move for regular playtime. His shaky performance against Brentford indicated lost confidence. At 26, Ramsdale needs to be playing, and he will have options both in the Premier League and abroad. Ramsdale can't afford another season on the bench. He's too talented to be a backup and needs to seek an exit. Despite occasional mistakes, he remains a top-tier goalkeeper, capable of excelling elsewhere. Chelsea, under Enzo Maresca, may seek a goalkeeper comfortable with the ball at their feet, making Ramsdale a potential target. 
In conclusion, Ramsdale's future lies away from Arsenal, where he can secure the playing time and recognition he deserves. His departure will benefit both him and the club, allowing Arsenal to reinforce their squad while Ramsdale continues his promising career.